Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network this evening live from Mustang Field, the home of the Laurel Highlands High School girls soccer team. It's Mustang soccer time as they host the Ringgold Rams. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay, and welcome you aboard for this evening's girls soccer game. South Union Township Sports Network coverage brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Fernan, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay, and we're just about ready for tonight's starting lineups. A little bit of an early start. Obviously, we had some weather in the area earlier on today. This game was originally supposed to start around 7.30 tonight, and we found out actually about a half an hour ago that they were going to push up the start time to 6.45 tonight. So Laurel Highlands and Ringgold getting underway. We'll have lineups here in less than a minute. Should be a very competitive game tonight. The Ringgold Rams 3-4 and four overall, 3-2 and two in Section 2, 3A play. Olivia Wilkerson is the head coach of the Ringgold Lady Rams. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs hit it 4-2 and two overall, 3-2 and two in conference play. Denny Marzano doing a nice job in his first year as the head coach on the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Going to have a wet field for this one tonight, but both of these teams sitting in a three-way time for second place in the conference entering play tonight. Connellsville at the top of the table at 5-0. and Laurel Highlands, Bell Vernon, and Ringgold all sitting at 3-2. and Trinity and Greensburg-Salem still very much in the race at 2-2. Two and two. The Red Raiders of Uniontown sit at 0-3, and, and Albert Gallatin sits at 0-5. Now going to turn it over to our public address announcer, Vince Capozzi, for tonight's starting lineups. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mustang Field. Tonight, the WPIL presents the Ringgold Lady Rams and your Laurel Island Lady Mustang. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we request that you all stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps as we honor America and those who defend her freedom around the world with the singing of our national anthem. Please welcome Laurel Highlands own Bella Wilson with the national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. Hail the rocket's red glare, the bomb bursting in air, gave proof through the And now let's meet the starters for this evening's game. Forced for the Lady Rams under head coach Olivia Wilkerson. At striker, a senior, number seven, Eleanor Fuciani. A senior defender and captain, number 20, Riley Simcoe. Junior midfielder, number 25, Aubrey Esper. At striker, a junior, number 4, Caitlin Ferris. On defense, a junior, number 8, Morgan Walsh. On defense, the junior, number 29, team captain, Abby Wally. At midfield, junior captain, number 12, Ryan Wilson. On defense, the sophomore, number 15, Emily Delano. On defense, the sophomore, number 2, Emma Santina. At 
Olympic midfielder, sophomore, number 13, Elizabeth Wilson. On defense, a freshman, number 32, Bridget Callahan. And now let's make the starting lineup for your Lady Mustangs under head coach Danny Marzano. Let's say hello to number seven, sophomore Allie Nose. Number eight, junior Julie Cooper. Number nine, senior Anna Newman. Sophomore, number 12, Jocelyn Radcliffe. Sophomore, number 18, Madison McLean. Sophomore, number 19, Madison Nicklow. A junior, number 23, Jenna Boynton. Senior, number 27, Journey Greer. Freshman, number 28, L. Mancini. Sophomore number 35, Lexi Taylor. And in goal for your Lady Mustangs, junior number 63, Jalen Rulakaba. Wait, 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 wait. Thanks, We're back here at Mustang Field, just about set to go. Laurel Highlands taking on Ringgold. We mentioned the Mustangs four and two overall, three and two in conference play. Ringgold three and four overall, three and two in the section. Results to date for Laurel Highlands started off the season winning two straight, five to two over Brownsville, thirteen to one over Uniontown. They lost their second conference game of the year against Bell Vernon by a score of four to nothing, but rallied back with. Wins over Albert Gallatin, 6 to nothing, and Trinity 3-1. to one. That was a game you were able to watch here on the South Union Township Sports Network. But they did fall last time out at Greensburg-Salem on Monday by a score of 2-1. to one. Ringgold got off to a little bit of a tough start. Lost against Chartiers Valley, South Park, and a very tough Connellsville team. Then won three straight against Albert Gallatin, Greensburg-Salem, and Uniontown. They lost 3-1 to one against Bell Vernon last time out. Should be a fun one here tonight. Laurel Highlands and the home reds. White numbers defending the gold to our left. Ring gold in the away whites with the blue numbers. A little bit of a gold trim defending the gold to our right. And if you're just tuning in, we welcome you in. Like a little early. Again, this game was originally supposed to start at 7.30. Bumped up about 45 minutes. We got here. We're set to go. And the Mustangs and the ring gold Rams will go at it here for Mustang Field. And there's Abby Whaley in the center circle to get things started here for the Ringgold Rams. Only the second game, the Lady Mustangs are playing here at Mustang Field. We're on their opening game on this surface against Trinity 3-1 to one last week. Waiting for the go-ahead from the officials on a very wet night. Rain still falling, but not quite as hard as it was earlier. Just a little bit of a sprinkle right now, but on and off showers expected throughout the course of the evening. Again, Brian Morozak, Jerry Dupay alongside, and we're underway here for Mustang Field as Emma Santina down the near boundary will bring it across here for Ringgold. A little touch there from Aubrey Esburn trying to spin forward there. Caitlin Ferentz, Mustangs win it back. They're looking for a little outlet forward there to Jenna Voigt, who's able to knock it down and send it off to her left to Jocelyn Radcliffe, who's gotten off to a nice start this season for Laurel Highlands. Radcliffe breaking down the far wing, has two Rams in front of her, and there's Bridget Callahan fronting her as the ball's pulled back there to Journey Greer, top of the box, had it knocked away and deflected off, and a little poke coming forward there up to Allie Nose down the near wing with Emma Santina defending. Ball going out of play and rolled over to the Rams off of Laurel Highlands and out. So the sophomore Santina will send it back in here for Ringgold, looking there for Aubrey Esper. And a little pressure there from Laurel Highlands. Look out here. Jenna Voighton across. The goal's empty, and Voighton sends it in the back of the net for the opening goal of the match just over a minute in. Jenna Voighton giving Laurel Highlands a one to nothing lead. You kind of had to wonder why Emily Delino came so far out and left the back of the goal empty, and Voighton 
found the angle and put it in the side of the goal to give Laurel Highlands a one to nothing lead. And the goal coming here at the 38-52 mark of the first half in the Mustangs, leading by a score of one to nothing. So Jenna Voighton and Laurel Highlands, they got the wake-up call of the early starts and taking advantage here at home. It was supposed to be a junior varsity game played between these two schools earlier. It got waved off, and Voighton's going to be waved down there for the offsides call as Voighton was about 10 yards behind the last defender. So it'll be a free kick here for the Ringgold Rams, and the Mustangs were actually thankful. And obviously not a positive situation for Ringgold last year, but the Rams had qualified for the WPIL playoffs a season ago, but due to some COVID issues, the Mustangs the benefactor as the Rams, after a 7-4 and four conference record, could not go to the postseason, and they were able to pull out before the playoff pairings came out, to which pushed the Mustangs, who finished fifth in the conference, into a playoff spot, and Laurel Highland said thank you very much and ended up taking on the Mars Planets in the first round of the WPIL playoffs. A little penetration there from Buccineri into the Laurel Highland zone. And Eleanor will have it there from the far side on the throw. And looking there for Abby Whaley. Remember Whaley from a year ago has been one of the top players for the Rams, now a junior, and she'll play all over the ball. Listed her as a defenseman. Have her more playing a midfield position here with a strong throw into the box. Looking there for Caitlin Ferentz. And Mustang send it out. And Buccineri will have an opportunity here to reload. See Lexi Taylor defending there for the Mustangs. And there's Whaley again. Nice little lob there into the box. Ball bodied down there defensively by Julie Cooper, but a little pressure out in front, and Ringgold ties the game at one. That's Elizabeth Wilson right on the doorstep. So Elizabeth Wilson, that was all set up by the great throw-in from Whaley, but Wilson knots this game up at one, a goal coming here at the 36-48 mark of the first half. So how about that? A little action early on. Two goals in the opening 3-12. And the Mustangs and the Rams now tied at one. And Laurel Highlands now with possession. So Wilson and Voighton, the two goal scorers so far in this one. Here's Journey Greer, a little touch looking there for Julie Cooper on the chase. Defending there for Ringgold is Morgan Walsh. And Walsh will push it back to... Her keeper there, Emily Delino, who again has some issues with it, goes right to Jenna Voight. Mustang still buzzing here inside the Rams 18. Cooper almost tripped up their side of the box. Rams trying to break out there with Emma Santina down the near boundary with a little push forward. Whaley now coming back defensively, and the Mustangs trying to get on the ball. And coming back there, Ellie Mancini, who played great the last time I saw the Mustangs. Again, Union Town almost two weeks ago. A little touch up there to Jocelyn Ratcliffe. Top of the box. Jossie battling hard there. Keep her out again. Goals open, and Ratcliffe says thank you very much. And the Mustangs take a 2-1 to -one lead. So, again, Delino getting very aggressive. And Ratcliffe burning her there to give the Mustangs a 2-1 to -one lead. So, Jocelyn Ratcliffe. The Radcliffe family having a great fall. Harry doing a great job on both the soccer field and the football field for the Mustangs. And here's Jocelyn, the sophomore, giving Laurel Highlands a 2-1 lead goal at the 35-48 mark of the first half. So a goal from Voighton. Elizabeth Wilson comes back with a goal for Ringgold. And then Radcliffe coming back with a goal for Laurel Highlands. And that's now three goals in the opening four minutes and 12 seconds. And now Ringgold says, hey, it's our turn. And I'll push forward here again to Whaley, trying to come between defenders. Journey Greer there for Laurel Highlands. Can't get it out of the zone. Booted back there from Aubrey Esper. Look out here, and right on the doorstep there was Buccineri, but the ball hauled in there by Jaden Rulacaba to settle things down for the Mustangs. Almost five minutes in. 
And Whaley knocks it down again over to Caitlin Ferentz. Ferentz on the front foot there trying to break forward, but Greer comes back for Laurel Highlands. Little touch down the field looking for Jenna Voighton. Mustangs open space coming back on a two on three and broken up there is Morgan Walsh trying to work it out of the zone. Little touch down to Emma Santina trying to work it away there from Allie Nose and down on the far side the ball going through. Buccineri. And out on the far side, and there you see the Mustangs all huddled up. As Buccineri will take this throw in for Ringgold. A little lob looking there for Abby Whaley now on the front line for the Rams. Battling with Hannah Newman, and Newman sends it out. They're going to rule this actually off of Ringgold and outs. It'll be Lexi Taylor taking this throw in. Taylor, a little bounce forward, was looking there for... Ellie Mancini. And there's Ryan Wilson. Just verifying we had audio there, and we do. And there's Hannah Newman. A little push forward here on the Laurel Highlands side. Down to Madison McLean. And the ball sent out. Again, we're hoping we can get this one in without any kind of lightning interruptions. Radar not looking too bad right now. Should be all right for the next couple of hours. As Laura Highlands again looking for a little push down there to Jenna Voighton. It goes back to Emily Dolino, who skies it high. Ringgold calling for a handball there, so it was knocked down by Ellie Mancini, we play on, and the Rams on the ball, looking for a little through ball up to Ferentz. Never got in her direction, but Whaley, a nice little scrum there with Hannah Newman. And Whaley able to win the ball forward. Again, in the direction of Ferentz, down the near wing. Ferentz inside the 18-yard box. Defending there, Madison Nicklo for the Mustangs, able to send it out. Back on to Mancini. A little touch off on the far side, and... Down on the far wing to Jocelyn Radcliffe, trying to work her way around Bridget Callahan, who attempted the slide tackle there. And they're actually going to call this foul on Radcliffe for pushing off. So it'll be a free kick for Ringgold's Morgan Walsh on this dreary Wednesday night. Walsh to take it just inside the Mustang zone. Little line drive knocked down there by Greer. Rams keep it alive. That was Elizabeth Wilson. And Elizabeth getting it back again off a little deflection off of Whaley and then scooped up there by Rubla Cava. And Laurel Highlands off to a very solid 4-2 and two overall start for first-year head coach Denny Marzano. The Rams 3-4 and four overall. They played a tough schedule like the Mustangs 3-2 and two inside the conference. Ringgold swept the Mustangs last year, winning by scores of one to nothing and five to nothing. Laurel Highlands had swept Ringgold in the prior two seasons back in 2019 and 2018. Here the Mustangs are buzzing again. That was Radcliffe trying to come free, but Aubrey Esper able to get the ball back there again for the Rams and try to work down the near side, but the ball deflected out. It'll be Laurel Highlands' ball here on another throw in that will come after a substitution with 31-25 left here in the first half. I have to thank some of our Mustang soccer sponsors as well, including the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisor Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. Here's a break from Caitlin Ferentz, but good defense there from Madison Nicolo. Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, another sponsor, UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Whale and Smith Drive, Jim Burns Director, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, and Chester's Fine Furniture, Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown, and front of the Fayette Plaza where customers send their friends. So 30-39 left here on the first half will be a goal kick for Jaden Rulwakaba, who will send it out on the far side. Mustangs body it down there. Madison McLean able to send it forward. Radcliffe trying to run it down, defending there Riley Simcoe, but Radcliffe wins the ball forward. Look out here, here's Jossie on the break, a little shot towards the goal and into the back of the net. Brace for Radcliffe, her second of the match, comes here at the 30-16 mark of the first half, and Laurel Highlands now in front. 
by a score of three to one. So Radcliffe once again doing a tremendous job here for Laurel Highlands. Two on the board for Jossie Radcliffe. And the Mustangs lead it three to one. Rams have to be a little shell shocked here in the opening 10 minutes. Four goals already on the board. And these two teams, along with Bell Vernon, entered play in a very balanced section. Tied for second place, all a three and two. And you look at the Rams' losses this year, one to nothing against Char Valley, eight to nothing against a very good South Park team, and a 6-2 loss against another talented Connellsville team. And we mentioned they also lost last time out, three to one against Bell Vernon, but had a three-game win streak over Albert Gallatin, Greensburg, Salem, and Uniontown. Right now, they trail by two. And the scoreboard incorrect right now. It's 3-1 Laurel Highlands. 3-1 Mustangs over the ramps. As Ryan Wilson tries to break into the box. And the play whistled down here. And what do we got? And call a foul there on Ringgold. Right on the near boundary, which will set up a free kick here for Julie Cooper and the Mustangs. So Cooper will take it. Nice little boot down the field here on the near side. That was knocked down by Aubrey Esper. Chipped ahead and then headed out again by the Mustangs where Ab Aubrey Whaley comes forward. A little one-hopper and again on the wet turf. Those could be difficult, but no problems there for Jaden Rulvacava. Jaden will send this one back to center. Knocked down there by Elizabeth Wilson. Again, two Wilsons out there for Ringgold. Ryan wearing a, uh, wearing 12 and Elizabeth wearing 13. And I think that's Jocelyn Radcliffe now on the Mustang bench getting stretched out. We'll verify, but I do not see Radcliffe out on the field right now for Laurel Highlands. They've substituted Emma Santor, number 24, into the match. While Radcliffe's getting worked on. There you can see Jocelyn trying to add a little assistance there to the Buccineri throw-in. Over to Whaley. Look out here, and that one just missed wide on the far side, and that was taken from quite a distance. I think Whaley took that shot from about 30 or 35 yards out. I'm watching the delayed replay on my side here just to see how far out that Shot was taken, but Whaley with a little screamer there and actually taken about 34 yards from goal. Just going wide on the far side of Rova Caba. And Whaley with a good test there. Mustangs a little chip looking for possession. It's on the Rams' back line near uh, there and pressed back to Emily Delino. And skied on the far side. A little poke there from Ellie Mancini. And Delino will scoop it up again here for Ringgold. 27 minutes left here in the first half. Laurel Highlands, a 3-1 to one lead over the Ringgold Rams. And a little boot down there to Carissa Vaccaro, who just checked in on the Ringgold side, wearing number 24. Lexi Taylor back into Madison McLean. Pressure there by Buccineri. And played forward up to Caitlin Ference. Ference trying to go between defenders. Ference on the run. Going shoulder to shoulder there with Hannon Newman. And the ball goes out of play. And once again, it'll be an Abby Whaley throwing. And Ringgold scored their lone goal after it was set up. From a long throw in from Whaley, and here's Whaley again sending it into the box. Will deflect back to Ryan Wilson, who takes a boot from about 25 yards out. Little one hopper again. Saved there by Rulva Caba. And Jaden will again take it to the top of the box. And lob it here on the near side, intended for Alley Nose. Mustangs put a little double team here as Emma Santina hit the deck on her backside. Be ruled Ringgold's ball here off of Laurel Highlands and outs. 
Morgan Walsh will take this throw in. Knocked down by Ellie Mancini. Chipped ahead there by Elizabeth Wilson. Now the run there, Lexi Taylor sending it out of play. Away from Eleanor Buccineri. Buccineri will take this throw in. We'll take it in Whaley's direction. Madison McLean a little bump there over to Brianna Marzano. The freshman's played well this season for Laurel Highlands. Try and lead the counter attack here for the Mustangs. They go cross field on the near side. Intended there for Allie Nose, who got ran into there by Morgan Walsh. And they're going to rule the foul on Nose, surprisingly. I thought she was going for the ball, and it was the Ringgold defender Walsh that initiated the contact. Referee saw it another way. And Walsh takes the free kick, lobs it. On the far side, now they're looking for Whaley again. Defenders all around her. Now coming free with a low shot into the back of the net, Aubrey Esper. So Aubrey Esper pulling Ringgold back to within one. Give the assist to Whaley. And Ringgold now down three to two. Goal coming here at the 24-16 mark of the first half. So we've had five goals scored here in just over 15 minutes of soccer. This one going back and forth here early on. Now, Laurel Highlands will get things restarted here from Genova. I have to thank the folks checking in on our live stream, Julie Baker, Bobby Ruggieri, and Debbie Creighton. Hello, Julie, Bobby, and Debbie. And again, Debbie watching her granddaughter, Ellie, all the way from Alaska with her great, with her great aunt and uncle. So, Debbie, thank you for checking in from Alaska tonight. Appreciate you coming on board. And there's Ellie trying to set it up there for Jenna Voighton. And the ball rolling back to the keeper, Emily Delino. Early afternoon start in Alaska. Start at 6.45 here. I've probably been about a 2.45 start in Alaska. As the Rams pull it back in Emily Delino's direction. Mustangs have won both of the games we've carried here on the network so far this year, and the Rams coming back with another counterattack there with a through ball too far there for Caitlin Ferentz, rolling, rolling back to Jaden Rulvacaba. And Jaden will send it out. Headed back there again by Esper. And in traffic, Buccineri. Another touch from Ellie Mancini. Deflected, looking there for Jenna Voighton. The ball comes off there to Ali Nose. And played back in Emily Delino's direction. One Mustang that we have not seen here today, and maybe Jerry or Vince can verify her status, is Kate Chido. Not seen Kate Chido in the lineup or on the field here today. Hopefully she's all right, usually a regular in the Mustangs starting 11. I didn't get the normal opportunity that I would to go down and talk to both coaches before the start of the match with the early start time. I think when I pulled in, there was about 15 minutes till game time. We didn't get the notification until about 6.15 that they were going to start at 6.45, so try to hustle over here early and at least get lineups and try to get this game on the air for you. Jerry Dupay doing a fine job, as always, behind the camera. And Ryan Wilson with an opportunity here as well on a corner kick as the Rams look to tie it. Little line drive going off of Ruba Kaba and a nice save there right on the edge of the goal line. One of the Mustang defenders knocking that one away might have been Hannah Newman with the denial to keep the score at 3-2. to two. For The Rams a little momentum right now. And another kick into the box, knocked down there again. That time by Julie Cooper and going wide. They do plenty of good eats down there. The rain keeping some of the folks away. Hopefully they're getting an opportunity to watch our live stream here today. A lot of umbrellas up. Just a light rain falling right now. I hope it stays that way. 
Rulacaba angling it off on the far side. Again, deflected down by Buccinari, who takes it right to the corner flag and going off of Lexi Taylor and out. Rams reload again. Far side, cross into the box. You got Ryan Wilson on the doorstep. Deflected back to Aubrey Esper, who's already scored here for the Rams. That one going off of Ellie Mancini, who pushes it forward. Arnold Highland's trying to set up an attack here with Carissa Vaccaro defending. And ruled off the Mustangs and out. Actually, Riley Simcoe, 20. Now they're going to reverse the call here and give it to Laurel Highlands off the throw-in. And the Rams will retreat defensively as Lexi Taylor will take the throw-in. We approach the midway point of this first half. We've played 20 minutes of soccer with five goals on the scoreboard. Caitlin Ferrin's play might have been offside. It's not going to matter anyway as it goes out of bounds. The yeah, Mustang throwing, going the other way here with Lexi Taylor. Taylor a little bounce in. Mustangs look to clear the zone. There's Riley Simcoe lobbing it ahead. Coming off on the near side, Julie Cooper trying to chase it down. Rams go cross field here on the near side, and a little touch from Ryan Wilson. He was trying to set up Esper. That one going wide of Rulva Caba. Another goal kick. As Laurel Highlands makes a change, give us another opportunity to let you know that our South Union Township soccer sponsors here today include the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahal of what Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive, Jim Burns Director, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiff, Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, and Chesler's Fine Furniture, Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown in front of the Fayette Plaza, and here's Jenna Voigt coming back trying to make it 4-2, to two. low shot and a save made there by Delina. But Voigtin leading another nice break back there for the Mustangs. Almost gave Laurel Highlands another insurance goal. And we've had five scored here in the opening 20 minutes plus. And here's Voigt in top of the 18. Play whistled down on the offsides. And Voigt clearly behind the last defender there. Flag up about 27 yards from goal. And Delino on the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Caitlin Ferentz. Off to Aubrey Esper. Angling it on the near wing to Ryan Wilson. Looking for the cross. Top of the box. Intended there for Ferens and sent out a play off of Laurel Highlands and outs. Ryan Wilson to take another throw in. And a little contact there in the box. Madison Niccolo sending it out of play. Abby Whaley to take this throw in. Whaley drying off the ball. Look for another launch here into the box from Whaley on the near side. Whaley on the run. Going off the body there of Hannah Newman. And on the near side, Lindsey Klink, who just checked in, looking to clear. Whaley on it again, sending it off on the far side. Rulva Caba trying to scoop it up and barely able to hang on with Buccineri right on the doorstep. That slick ball almost got... Free of Jaden Rulvacaba. Mustangs leading it 3-2. to two. The Rams have had a lot of possession here over the last 10 minutes or so. The Mustangs still hanging out into a one-goal lead. We expected it to be very competitive coming in. It's certainly been just that. Allie knows. Off there to Journey Greer. While rolling back to... Emily Delino, who will scoop it up here for Ringgold. Delino, a high boot. And Elizabeth Wilson playing it ahead. A little touch off there to Aubrey Esper. 
And knocked down by the Mustangs, Julie Cooper. Controlled by Morgan Walsh. Poking it back to Delino, the keeper. Emily sending it out. Lindsey Klink looking for the ball there for Laurel Highlands. Rams control it for now, and they stay on it here with Ryan Wilson. Played back, but Ringgold again getting the ball there. Bridget Callahan. An open space on the far side. Ball will trickle over the far boundary and out, and the attended a lob for Buccineri. And Lexi Taylor will take it here for the Mustangs. Taylor trying to pull it back there to Marzano, and one of the Rams falling down. I'll be ruled a Ringgold free kick. And some Mustangs going the other way. And the Elizabeth Wilson taking the free kick. Elizabeth on the lob right in front of Rulva Cabo and it went right to Jaden. Again, did a nice job to cover. And those saves not easy tonight. There's Jenna Voigton on the run down. Allie knows looking for it. There's Carissa Vaccaro. Again, sent an open space where Jenna Voigton will try to track it down. The play's on sides. Voigton on the run, looking for a blast, a little chip, just going wide. Great effort, though, from Jenna Voigton. And credit the defense as well, Morgan Walsh for Ringgold. Those two going shoulder to shoulder, a lot of hustle on both sides. Another good effort from Voigton just going wide, and it will be a goal kick here for Emily Delino. Certainly nice to be back in the gantry, though, tonight. I have to thank Gary Frankhauser for filling in for me on short notice last Thursday for the Laurel Highlands Trinity game. Gary did a great job, as always, up in the booth. He'll be back with you on Friday night here for Mustang Field. Finally, a home football game. Laurel Highlands battling West Mifflin. Laurel Highlands football team 4-0. Here's Julie Cooper off to Journey Greer. And now Julie again trying to go between defenders. Have the Laurel Highlands boys in action for you tomorrow as Caitlin Ferens tries to come free. Deflected off a Mustang defender who had a play on the far side. It'll be Laurel Highlands hosting Uniontown tomorrow. Should be a fun one. And the Laurel Highlands boys just off to a fantastic start this season. And a couple of substitutions out there. There's Mike Smith, Laurel Highlands Assistant Athletic Director, down on the far side as well. The Laurel Highlands boys just won a loss. That came a week ago Saturday against Bell Vernon. They had a very impressive win on the road last night against Albert Gallatin. You don't have the Red Raiders and the Mustangs for you here for Mustang Field tomorrow night. Last I heard, Jerry, the game's scheduled for 7.30. If anything has changed, hopefully they'll let us know. 12.20 left here in the first half. And 3-2 Laurel Highlands over Ringgold. Lexi Taylor taking another throw in. Lobbing it, looking in the direction of Allie Nose. Push forward again to... Ferentz, good defense there from Journey Greer. New entry there for Ringgold, actually not on my roster. Eventually, have to let me know who number 17 is. And actually, Vince tells me it'll be a 7 o'clock start tomorrow. 7-ish seven, seven. start tomorrow. Okay. Are we actually starting those scheduled at 7 or 7.30? Okay, Vince is telling me it's still 7.30, so... I don't want to get you folks here too early, but if it's 7.30, there's likely a junior varsity game beforehand. Vince, also, if you get a chance, let me know 17 for Ringgold. Not on my roster. As the Rams try to turn it back. Journey Greer, a little push ahead there for Jenna Voigton. Over to Madison McLean. Now Voigton again. Is it on sides? Play was not whistled down. It will get scooped up here by the keeper, Emily Delino. And Emily will boot it out. 
approaching the half hour mark of this match. Emma Santina down on the near side. Too far there for Ryan Wilson. We have Mustang throwing from Julie Cooper. And 17 is Caitlin Grassi, sophomore. For the Ring Gold Rams. Thank you very much, Vince. A little pressure here again inside the box. Poked out there by Lexi Taylor. And that pressure level has increased as of late here on the Rams set. Buccinari sending it in there to Bridget Callahan. Mustangs another little poke out. Over to Journey Greer. And Greer might have been bumped there, trying to send it off in Ellie Mancini's direction. We have a free kick here for Laurel Highlands, working left to right. The final 10 minutes of this first half. Rain has subsided for now. And it will be Hannah Newman taking the free kick here for the Mustangs. Newman on the lob down on the far side over the head of Ellie Mancini and outs. Ringgold wants to make another change here. We'll get Abby Whaley back into the match. As Whaley got a quick breather, she'll replace Aubrey Esper. And there's Grassi. A little poke back. Whaley getting involved again. Off to Elizabeth Wilson. Madison McLean there for Laurel Highlands. Touched by Greer on the far side over to McLean battling with Elizabeth Wilson is able to turn it back in Whaley's direction. Nice little front foot there over to Caitlin Ferentz. Denied there by Newman has done a nice job defensively including one clear right on the goal line. Near side lob from Ryan Wilson trying to create some traffic in the box from Buccineri and that ball gets loose into the back of the net. Buccineri took it. It's an own goal. Rubicaba should have had it. Tough one to give up, but on a wet night, those kind of things happen. And this match now tied at three, and we'll give it to Buccinari, who just had a little flick right out in front. And a rare mistake for Jaden Rulvacava. Buccinari's goal coming at the 824 mark of the first half to tie this match at three. We saw one of those last week as well in the Laurel Highlands boys game last Wednesday. Those things happen. And it can even happen more frequently when you have the weather conditions like we have tonight. Wet turf, wet ball. Now we're tied at three. Six goals scored here in the first half. There's Lindsey Klink. Whaley, look out here. Open space for Ryan Wilson before cleared out by Hannah Newman. And back-to-back -back goals from Aubrey Esper and Buccineris. And Eleanor will get credit for the goal. Off the mishandle there from Ruba Caba. Now Whaley taking another throw in as the Rams look for the lead. Back in Lindsey Klink's direction. Whaley, a little touch. Greer trying to knock it out of the zone. Emma Santina there again went off the head of Cooper. And should be a corner kick here for Ringel. Might have been Madison Nicholas had it actually grazed off. I thought it was Cooper, but she was actually here on the near side. Nonetheless, will be a corner kick as we go under seven minutes left here in the first half. Be Ryan Wilson to take it. So Wilson takes the corner. Nice high lob. Look out here. A lot of traffic. Rubicaba got a piece of it. Looking for a turn and shoot there was Buccineri. Rubicaba again got a piece of it. And the ball just trickled wide. You also had 
Caitlin Grassi on that far post. But a lot of action in front of Ruba Kaba, and they'll get an opportunity here to reload with another corner kick. Once again, Ryan Wilson will take it. This time they'll play it back here to the far side. Elizabeth Wilson, Mustangs, a nice little deflection down there, trying to set up the counterattack. Good lead forward there for Mancini, looking for Voighton a little bit too far, though. And the Rams now clear it back into the Mustangs bench. Lexi Wilson puts it back in play. Nice little sidestep coming forward there from Madison McLean. Mustangs looking for Voighton. Riley Simcoe there for Ringgold, sending it out of play. And Lexi Taylor will trigger it in again. And I'll push out. Which way are we going to go here? Stay with Taylor and the Mustangs. With 517 left here in the first half. And Whaley getting involved, and things getting a little physical there between Whaley and Taylor. Go in the Rams' direction this time. Taylor a little bump in the back there of Buccineri. Sending Simcoe retreating. And a low ball back to Delino, who will lob it back towards center. Headed there from Garassi. Angled back to Elizabeth Wilson. Now Delino again. Final five minutes of this first half. Rams play it on the front foot again. Looking there for Ference on the rundown. Going body to body with Julie Cooper. Rams got a little help there from Ryan Wilson to keep it alive. Here's Whaley coming free. Just missed wide on the near side. Abby Whaley likes those 20-yard plus shots. Sent it high and wide on the near side as we remained Tied to three. Rula Kaba. And take this goal kick. And Jaden on the blast out on the far side. Rams pick it back up. Buccineri on the cross. Look out here. Rula Kaba diving. And you had both Ferenc. And Ryan Wilson in the vicinity there for Ringgold. And the Rams getting all kinds of opportunities. And then Rula Cabo will put it down for another goal kick here for the Mustangs. Going low, no one home. Actually, there was someone home on the far side. It was Ellie Mancini who was almost camped right on the line. And it sent it forward there to Voighton. Sent out of play off of the Mustangs and out again. Whaley continues to battle. Down to Ference. Newman defending. Ball goes out of play. Ryan Wilson. A slide tackle there from Ellie Mancini. Kids really playing hard on both sides. Julie Cooper down there to Madison Niccolo. Juan back there from Buccineri off the head of Cooper. Still alive, top of the 18. Emily Bellotti took one in the face. Mancini trying to break back on the far side. Elizabeth Wilson defending. Ball went off of Mancini and out. Wilson on the quick reload with 216 left here in the first half. A little chip there from Lexi Taylor. Through Journey Greer. Rams pick up possession again. And they'll play it back in Emily Delino's direction. Off the body of Julie Cooper. Laid down Emily Bellotti. Low ball. Mustangs on the chase. It's Lindsey Klink. Here's Klink on the run. Klink will take the quick shot. Actually had... Two Mustangs off to her left. Both Jenna Voigton and Allie Nose were there. Try the quick shot. Went wide on the near side. And the Rams will get it back here in the final 90 seconds of the first half. Substitutions on both sides. And 
Going to be a goal kick here for Emily Delino and Ringgold. Going low. No one wants to touch the ball. Finally, the Mustangs do. They'll poke back in Delino's direction. She'll scoop it up. That was Bellotti that sent it towards goal. Emily, only a freshman out there for Laurel Highlands. And the ball angled and right on the side of the box there. Have to be careful there, Emily Delino. Could have had a handball there if Delino let that one trickle another foot. Rams again look for room on the near side with Santina. Collected back in Julie Cooper's direction. Mustangs on the break down the near side. Good run here from Brianna Marzano. Grassi defending. 23 seconds left here in the first half. Ball goes out of play. And it will be a corner kick. Mustangs need to hurry this one up. Julie Cooper will take it. And a 12 seconds left. Cooper, a little line drive. And deflected back in Julie's direction again. She'll reload and miss wide here on the near side, and that'll do it for one half of soccer and a very entertaining half in that. Tied at three. Laurel Highlands and Ringo are back to recap the first half numbers for you in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Did you know that colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer in America, or that it can be prevented by removing polyps during a 30-minute colonoscopy? At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologists, Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Hoppy, and I encourage you to consider a screening colonoscopy. Call 724-437-7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Sometimes good people make bad decisions, and they end up in trouble with the law. Hi, this is attorney Mark Mahalov of Zebley Mahalov & White in Uniontown. If you're one of those people who found yourself facing legal issues, including minor criminal offenses, traffic, DUI, or other summary offenses, we are here to help you. Many times, these mistakes don't have to ruin your life. One bad decision does not make you a bad person. Let us help you fix the problem and move on with your life. Call our office today at 724-439-9200. Zebley Mahalov & Are you tired of looking at the same old furniture day in and day out? Let Chesler's Fine Furniture work their magic. Chesler's offers the finest in name brand home furnishings by famous manufacturers, plus accent pieces that underline your unique sense of style, and they are all sale priced. There are living room suits by King Hickory, Lancer, Craftmaster, Lazy Boy, and Best Chair, each offering a distinct flair of comfort and design in many styles and fabrics, the largest selection of metal dinettes by Douglas, and dining sets in your choice of finishes and woods. Chesler's has exceptional bedding by White Dove and Imperial in your choice of size and firmness. Chesler's Fine Furniture also offers genuine Lazy Boy recliners and living room suits for pure relaxing comfort. In addition, you can count on Chesler's for friendly, courteous service, delivery, and layaway. Credit terms are available with up to six months the same as cat. Halftime here at Mustang Field, tied at three. Laurel Highlands and Ringgold Girls High School Soccer Action. Let's recap the first half scoring. Jenna Voigt got things started for the Mustangs. A goal at the 38-52 mark of the first half to give Laurel Highlands a one to nothing lead. Elizabeth Wilson came back for Ringgold and made it one to one, scoring at the 36-48 mark of the first half. Jocelyn Radcliffe got her first of two at the 35-48 mark, then got another quick one right after to make it three to one. But Ringgold with 
back-to-back -back goals to end the first half. Aubrey Esper with a goal assisted by Whaley. That coming at the 24-16 mark. And then Eleanor Buccineri, a late goal with 8:24 left in the first half after Jaden Rulvacaba mishandled it on the far post inside the Laurel Highland zone. And that's where we sit at halftime. 3-3, three three, Laurel Highlands and Ringgold. If you're watching this replay on Atlantic Broadband or Armstrong Kid, we'd like to let you know that all of our games are now available live online. Just log on to facebook.com slash TV to watch live online. I have to thank our sponsors tonight, including the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisor Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahal of White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive, Jim Burns Director, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, and Chessler's Fine Furniture, Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown in front of the Fayette Plaza where customers send their friends. Tied at three here at the break, Ringgold and Laurel Island. Second half match action comes your way next here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools. Teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. We'd like to wish good luck this year to the Laurel Highlands Mustang Girls soccer team and the coaches from the LH Girls soccer team booster. Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not... This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Have you ever felt something stick in your chest when swallowing? This can be caused by a narrowing in your esophagus from inflammation, scar tissue, or rarely a tumor. At SWGI, our board-certified gastroenterologist, Dr. Ruth Hart Calabrese Hoppy and I specialize in the care of swallowing disorders. Call 724-437-7677 7677 or visit swgispecialists.com. Sometimes good people make bad decisions, and they end up in trouble with the law. Hi, this is attorney Mark Mahalov of Zebley Mahalov & White in Uniontown. If you're one of those people who found yourself facing legal issues, including minor criminal offenses, traffic, DUI, or other summary offenses, we are here to help you. Many times, these mistakes don't have to ruin your life. One bad decision does not make you a bad person. Let us help you fix the problem and move on with your life. Call our office today at 724-439-9200. Zebley Mahalov & White, your local attorneys helping local people. If you made a bad decision that has you in legal trouble, make a good decision now by allowing our firm to represent you. Zebley Mahalov & White in Uniontown and at zeblaw.com. Zebley Mahalov & White, local attorneys helping local people. Let us fix your life. Zebley Mahalov & White, it's 
service get taken out of service industries it's too bad because people are busy these days at life at work at play when it comes to your hard-earned money you want service real service from a person you know and a face you trust at a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind we're proud to be a part of your community we're united bank at your service Kessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Shoes for many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Bond Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop in to Chesler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chesler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Good luck to the Lawhorns Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbeier, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Back here at Mustang Field in what should be a fun second half. Laurel Highlands and Ringgold tied at three. Brad Marilzak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us. Again, more high school soccer on the way tomorrow, Laurel Highlands hosting Uniontown boys action. As of now, game scheduled to start at 7.30. I'll be with Jerry for that one. And we have a ton of soccer next week. We'll let you know what's ahead on the South Union soccer calendar next week. But almost every night, a game here at home for the Laurel Highlands soccer programs. There's Julie Cooper. We'll touch on the far side, but the Rams winning the ball back. Laurel Highlands led 3-1, to one, but Ringgold coming back with back-to-back -back goals late in that first half. We're tied at three here in the opening minute of the second half, and the clock actually started late, and I wonder if we'll get that reset because the clock on your screen I think is about a minute behind where we should be. There's Caitlin Ferentz over to Ellie Mancini. I would assume if we have a stoppage of play, they'll probably try to reset that to the correct time. A little roller scooped up there by Jaden Rulvacaba. You mentioned the schedule for next week, doubleheader on Monday. Laurel Highlands girls will take on Ligonier Valley in the opening game. I'll be followed by the Laurel Highlands boys taking on Bell Vernon. That should be a fun one. Always a big rivalry when those two schools get together. And then Tuesday, the Laurel Highlands girls host Uniontown. Mustangs had a big win over the Red Raiders at Bill Power Stadium earlier on this year. Boys are back in action next Wednesday. And the girls have a home game against Bell Vernon next Thursday. And then the Laurel Highlands boys will also play at home a week from Saturday as well, 1.30 against Trinity. I think you have six total scheduled soccer games in six days between the boys and the girls' varsity matches here at Mustang Field. Well, certainly a busy time. Ryan Wilson will be taking a corner kick here for Ringgold. And they said 37-49. So we're off about 17 seconds. And they're going to get that. No, they don't have it corrected yet. I'm just going to let it wind down here, I guess. 
They'll wind it down here with no gameplay. The referee's going to wait for the go-ahead here. And we'll get on the correct time. And now we're set to go. Ryan Wilson taking the corner kick. Well, high lob, far side, ball headed. Mustangs on it and cleared out on the near side. Ringgold's done a nice job off the corners, off the free kicks, creating action inside the 18-yard box. Lexi Taylor will take this throw in now for Laurel Highlands. They got the correct time, 37-12, left here in the second half. That was over to Ellie Mancini. Touch off of Allie Nose. Haven't seen Allie's sister Addie out there tonight either. Jaden Rulvacaba with a scoop up. Jaden will boot it back to center. Touched off of Sophie Pulland, who had just checked in on the ring gold sign, wearing number 34. Back in Whaley's direction. Mustangs looking there for Jenna Voighton. Cleared out here on the near side. Things have settled down here a little bit. They're at a frantic pace for a while in the first half. Brianna Marzano back out there for the Mustangs, who lost it on the near side. Elizabeth Wilson reloading there for Ringgold. That one went off of Lexi Taylor and outs. Well, pressure there again from Whaley, pulling it back to Ferentz. Going shoulder to shoulder with Emma Santor. Who knocks it out on the far side. Emma Santino was on that angle for Ringgold. That one picked up by Ellie Mancini. Santina looking there again for Sophie Polland out of her reach and out of play. Good to see Mark Santor actually helped us out with a lot of the live streaming. We got started last winter getting things set up for some of our internet connectivity in the Laurel Islands basketball press box up in the press box here. A couple of his young boys at halftime. They're working on a new sound system up here in the press box, which I guess they'll debut for the Mustang football game on Friday night against West Mifflin. Run four there from Elizabeth Wilson. A trip up inside the box. Actually more of a collision there between Polland and one of the Mustang defenders. That was Madison Niccolo. A substitution here for Ringgold. The ball went out of play. Will be another corner kick here for Buccineri and the Rams. Actually just rolled a throw-in right near that corner flag. Buccineri gets it back. Header there from Newman before off of a deflection. Rula Kabe able to pick it up there again for the Mustangs. Almost six minutes into the second half. Match tied at three. Laurel Highlands and Ringgold. Brian Merlzak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Voiting a little poke. And Marzano going shoulder to shoulder. There with Elizabeth Wilson. And another thing, when you got the wet conditions, that track, which is only about a yard or two off the end of the surface, becomes very slick on the sport turf soccer spikes. The players have to be careful. Opportunity here for Ferentz. Laying it off on her left for Ryan Wilson. Mustangs able to settle that down as Hannah Newman clears it out on the far side. That could create quite a dangerous situation. You got some players running over there at a full steam and full head of pace trying to keep a ball in play. Then you hit that track. It's like hitting ice at times. I've done that with golf spikes before. Abby Whaley sitting in the top of the box in traffic. That was Elizabeth Wilson who came free and ruled a Kaba. 
Another nice save there for Laurel Highlands. A match tied at three. Voight a goal, Radcliffe two for the Mustangs. Buccianary, Elizabeth Wilson, and Aubrey Esper. Your goal scorers in this one. On the Ringgold side, there's Julie Cooper on the far side for the Mustangs. Low ball coming forward here on the run down to Alley Nose. And they're going to roll it down here on the offsides. Wow. And this one will come back. Free kick for Ringgold and keeper Emily Delino. Again, knocked out of play. Julie Cooper to take this throw in. A little lob on the far side. And Allie knows his direction. And on the body there of Madison McLean. Pressure there by Buccianeri. And pushed forward in Caitlin Ference's direction. Ference on the run down the near wing. Here's Ference on the break. Lexi Taylor defending. Try to pull it back off to her left. That was intended for Buccianeri. You know, got run down a little bit there by Hannah Newman. No foul called. Newman stays with it and sends it up to Jenna Voigt. Voigt on the near side. Deflected off of Ringgold and out going off of Elizabeth Wilson. So the Mustangs keep possession with 31-13 left in regulation time. Match remaining tied at three. And we could finish in a tie here in high school soccer regular season action. And we'll play an overtime session, but after two 10-minute overtime periods, if the match is still tied, it goes in the books as a draw. No penalty kick situation here in the regular season for high school soccer. You would have penalties if you got into the playoffs in a similar situation. Rams Emma Santina coming down the far side, trying to spin off of Julie Cooper. Ball goes out of play again. We'll get a Laurel Highland substitution. This will be a quick one. It's coming back in there, Emily Bellotti, another talented freshman. Lob there by Cooper. Rams pick up possession again. Randy Callahan, a low roller, scooped up by Jaden Rubacaba. And I have to thank our South Union soccer sponsors here today, including the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisor Jason Scott, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI, and Uniontown Zebley Mahalo and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive, South Union Township Supervisors Robert Schiff Bauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, and Chessler's Fine Furniture, Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown, in front of the Fayette Plaza, where customers send their friends. Mustangs back with possession. Good ball there for Mancini down to Jenna Voigten looking for the lead. Voigten with a little pressure from behind, trying to stay with it. Voigten on the near side trying to pull back. Elizabeth Wilson in her face out to Brianna Marzano, who lost the ball there and Ringgold sending it out. But a nice break there from Jenna Voigten. It might have just been a little gassed at the end of that one. Lexi Taylor takes the throw in. Taylor trying to push through Buccianeri. Run off of Eleanor and out, so Lexi will get another throw in. Send it off on the near side in Marzano's direction. A little lob back. Run off of Madison Niccolo. And now Madison McLean will find it. Two Madisons there. We're at 18 and 19 on the Laurel Highlands side. Good little ball down to Alley Nose on the far side. Defending Emma Santino will take it out of play. 12 minutes into the second half and another change for the Mustangs. And it does look like, at least for the next half hour or so, we're out of the woods as far as any precipitation is concerned, and that's good news. And those thunderstorms rip through the area about 5.20 today. And rather wet for an hour or so. 
Aside from a couple little sprinkles, we've been all right most of the night. There's Newman. Down again to Ellie Mancini. Ellie on the far side. Works it off to her left again. Voigtin a little collision there with Riley Simcoe. Mustangs keep possession. Once again, Mancini pushing it back to Madison McLean. Another little poke out attempt there from Elizabeth Wilson. Once again, McLean retreats. Regains a little sidestep off to her left between defenders down to Lindsey Klink. And Klink ruled off sides. Well drawn up. Scoring opportunities not as easy as they were earlier for the Mustangs, who scored three times in the opening ten minutes. And Ringgold's kept them off the scoreboard the rest of the way. There's Klink losing it there to Whaley. Sent down the field on to Julie Cooper on the Laurel Highland side. Poke ahead there from Bolotti. And Mancini keeping it alive. And a roll back down to Emily Delino. We'll find the loose ball and lob it back to center. Played back to Whaley. Angles it on the far side on the chase down. Rams trying to run it down there with Bridget Callahan out of her range. We're seeing more substitutions sprinkled in now on both sides. Lexi Taylor taking a seat. She's played a lot of minutes tonight on the Laurel Highland side. Checking in for Taylor, number 11, Jasmine Lemus. Mustangs with another throw in going over. Allie knows, but regained there by Madison McLean again looking at Allie's direction. Rams trying to set it up again inside the Mustang 18 yard box, pulling it back there. Ryan Wilson, good defense from Madison Nicolo. Will, though, be another corner kick. It'll be Ryan Wilson to take it. Wilson puts it down in the corner. And in the air. Line drive. Off the deflection. Ball still loose and cleared out by Laurel Highlands. So the Rams got a couple of opportunities there before Newman again cleared the back line. I saw Newman save a Mustang goal back in the first half. Similar clearance attempt. And you know, fall and winter are really closing in when you see folks around in winter hats already. Not that cold tonight. Maybe some folks disagree with me. Ryan Wilson back into the box. There's Buccineri again off of Newman. Who's such a force on that defensive back line. A little header there again from Ferentz. Look out there. You had Buccineri in traffic. Clear out Ellie Mancini. Down to Voighton. Angled off to Alley Nose and able to keep it in play. This one's still tight, 3-3 three, three in each direction. Just over 24 minutes left in regulation time. Julie Cooper out of her own zone. That one went off of Caitlin Ferenson outs. Mustangs keep possession. Julie Cooper down to Madison McLean. There's Whaley. Good battle there from Jenna Voighton. Touch from Mancini. And you have Morgan Walsh there for Ringgold. Back down to Dolino. Another touch from Esper. Emma Santina down the far boundary. Get out of play. Throw in here for the Mustangs. Be taken by Julie Cooper. Cooper on the lob. I went off of Cooper and out, and Emma Santina take another throw in. 
Newman battling there with Buccinari. Mustangs try to stay with it. Alley knows. This again rolls back to Emily Delino. Off of Lindsey Klink. Over to Caitlin Ferentz. And again out here on the near side. It'll be Lemus to take the throw in here for the Mustangs. Jasmine down to Lindsey Klink. And deflected out. Elizabeth Wilson reloading. Madison Niccolo attempting the header. Went off of a ram and out. Lemus again on the quick throw. Over to Emily Bellotti. Pushed ahead there from Lindsey Klink. Over to Voighton. Allie Knowles going to the far boundary with Emma Santina. And the Rams will shuffle the deck here again. Our Highlands Athletic Director Mark John in the press box tonight as the Rams look for another break. And that one will go on the far side, scooped up there by Jaden Rulvacaba. Jaden will, will take it to the top of the 18-yard box and boot it out. Headed there a couple of times by Ellie Mancini. Going at it pretty good there with Whaley. The ball goes out of play. Check that that was Esper and Mancini going at it. Nonetheless, throw in for Emma Santina. Get those 25s blended in with those 29s on the Ring gold side. As Caitlin Ferentz lost her feet there for a moment. Lemus trying to work it back on the far side there for Allie Nose. Again, rolling out. Rams were smart, brought a couple pop up tents tonight, staying dry. We got confirmation from Laurel Highlands Athletic Director, the Kate Chido is injured. That's why she's not playing tonight. And we also mentioned we've yet to see Addy Nose, number three, is also another regular contributor. So we hope to have Chido back in the 11 for the Mustangs very soon. Great contributor for Laurel Highlands. And now in our final 20 minutes, might be playing a little bonus soccer tonight. We're 3-3 three, three at halftime. Haven't had a goal here in the opening 20 minutes of the second half. A little collision here. Play whistled down. A free kick coming back here for Ringgold. And Morgan Walsh. So Walsh will take it. A little hopper down the field. A little shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder action there. Julie Cooper going at it with one of the Ringgold players. And Vince, I don't know if you have a number 11 on your roster as well for Ringgold. That's another one I'm missing. We're starting to get a few raindrops coming. We're told we're out of the woods for at least any thunder and lightning. The umbrella's popping back up here. And actually, the rain coming down pretty good. You can see it on your screen right now. Coming down at a pretty good pace. As Caitlin Ferentz comes forward. Going wide of the goal. For some of the girls, they probably love playing in the rain. Others might be waiting for these final 18.30 to get over with quickly. Melissa Williams, number 11 on the ring gold side. The junior. Now they're rolling, rolling in there to rule the Kaba. That brief shower we had has subsided some. Back to only a sprinkle for now. 
At center, Lindsey Klink finding the loose ball there for the Mustangs. Klink coming forward, playing it off to her right to Jenna Voighton. Voighton had Brianna Marzano to her right, never got it in her direction. The Rams find it again here. Caitlin Ferentz up the field here to Buccineri. Back to Ryan Wilson. And angled off and out of play. Lexi Taylor back in there. We'll take another throw in here for Laurel Highlands. 17-20 left in regulation time. Elizabeth Wilson on the lob. Goes on the near side. Poke there for Madison Niccolo and out. See how heavy some of the rain was earlier. Some of the standing water and puddles still on the track here at Laurel Highlands High School. Watch for another launch here from Whaley on the throw. Whaley on the run up. Sent into the box. Robacaba with a diving save. One off of Whaley. Should be a throw in here for the Mustangs going the other way. Mustang send it in there to Madison McLean. Went off the back of a ram, played forward. Controlled there by Elizabeth Wilson. Whaley again a poke forward. Off of Buccineri and open spaces. Ferentz with a run towards the goal. Big time save, Ruva Kaba. And Ferentz almost ran Jaden over. Big time collision there between Ferentz and Ruva Kaba. We're still battling. Wilson, top of the 18 there again. Settled off by Buccineri. Playing catch there with Ferentz. Back to Whaley on the lob. And on the far side. Will the Cabo let it go? And it should be a goal kick here for the Mustangs. With 15.35 left in regulation time. Still tied at three. That was our halftime score. We haven't changed here at all in the second half. Jaden was looking there for Emily Bolotti. Regaining possession, Ellie Mancini looking for Voighton. Trying to set up the run down the far side. There's the freshman Marzano as Voighton off to her left. Another good run here for the Mustangs. Defending is Simcoe. Staying with it, Marzano. Now tries to pull back on the far line, but winning the ball there, Riley Simcoe. Good defense on the Rams side. Did go off of ring gold and outs. It'll be a throw in here for Laurel Highlands. Taken by Julie Cooper. And again, sent out of play, likely going off of Ferentz and out. be a corner kick here that Ellie Mancini will take for Laurel Highlands. So Ellie will put it down from the far side. Mustangs trying to retake the lead. Line drive goes through Voighton resetting there. A little turn and shoot was Bolotti. Had Clink on the doorstep and just sailing it high there is Voighton. Oh, the Mustangs, plenty of good opportunities there inside the 18-yard box, unable to capitalize. You'll have Delino taking another goal kick here for Ringgold with 13.49 left in regulation time. And if we do go into overtime, it is a golden goal situation. First to score wins. You don't play out the full extra time session like you do in many other leagues. Voight on the cross again. Clink on the doorstep. Ball still loose and cleared there by Whaley. Wow, Mustangs buzzing. Mustang fans back in it. And you can kind of sense a little extra step on the Laurel Highlands offensive attack. Again, going into Voight and off of her body. Crossed out in front. Mustang staying with it. Clink a little poke. A little more behind that shot. Delino will scoop it up again. Under 13 minutes left in regulation. 
Mancini off the body coming forward here on the near side. Ellie Mancini. Gonna play it off to her right off a deflection there. Simcoe trying to clear. Madison McLean a touch. Ball comes free here to Lindsey Klink. Down to Mancini battling Riley Simcoe again. The ball going out of play. He'll take it into the corner. Mustang for another scoring opportunity here. Corner kick for Ellie Mancini. It's Ellie to take it. Line drive and on the line, Delino making the save. Not having to worry about any deflections out in front there. The ball cleared out of play. We go in the other way again in the Mustangs' direction. Umbrella's coming back down here with the rain stopping once again. Be cool over the next couple of days. Bring a jacket if you're headed out here either tomorrow or Friday for high school football. High on Friday, only 60 degrees, and here's an opportunity for Clink. Couldn't catch up to the ball. Rolled back there at Emily Delino. Hesitated for a moment at Lindsey Clink, like she thought she was offsides. 11.24 left in regulation. Rams stay with it. Whaley pushing it forward. Was trying to send it to Ryan Wilson. Never got in her direction. And again out on the far side. Messantina on another lob going over the head of Ryan Wilson. Going off of Hannah Newman. And Ryan Wilson turning it back there on the Ringgold side. It's Madison Niccolo. Rams keep it in. Down to Ferentz. Off to a right to Ryan Wilson. Shot on goal to the back of the net. Wilson. From about 25 yards out. Gives Ringgold a 4-3 to three lead. Elizabeth Wilson scored one earlier. That one came from Ryan Wilson with 10-30 left here in the second half. And Ringgold, three unanswered goals to take a 4-3 to three lead. That was the first goal we've had in this match since Buccineri scored for Ringgold at the 8-24 mark of the first half. So almost went 40 minutes there in between goals. And now Laurel Highlands will have to go on the attack, put a couple of players forward, and we'll see if Ringgold goes in to park the bus mode here for the second half. That one will trickle out on the near side. Rams staying on it. Brandy Callahan sending it over in Ference's direction. Another nice boot. And a one-hopper there from Ryan Wilson again, scooped up there from Ruba Kaba. Let her hair down here for the final 10 minutes. Rain starting to fall again. And here's Emily Bolotti. Losing it out of play. Rain now increasing in intensification. Going in there to Ellie Mancini, Mustang some work to do, trying to tie things up here in the final 9-23. Hannah Newman retreating again defensively. Trying to work it down on the far side. That's Brianna Marzano, and now Mancini again. A lot of young players out there for the Mustangs. Marzano, a freshman. Mancini, a freshman. He also had Emily Bellotti, a freshman, on the field. 8.56 left in regulation time. Newman again a lob. Headed back by the Rams. Ringgold looking for their third straight win in this series over Laurel Highlands after sweeping the Mustangs last year. Laurel Highlands won four straight during the 18 and 19 campaigns. Newman angles it away there from Eleanor Buccineri. 
But the Rams will keep possession, and they'll take this all day. They'll be very content playing the final 8.30 here in the Laurel Highland zone. Might see them take a little time here on some of these throw-ins as Whaley preparing here for another long blast. Whaley takes it. Mustangs looking for the clear. And they get it on Jenna Voighton's foot. Voighton trying to reverse field here on the near side. Gets a little help there for Mancini. Pushed ahead on the run. The Mustangs sending it down there to Alley Nose. And one of the players noticeably that has not been on the field that made a huge contribution over the opening 10 minutes, including scoring two goals for the Mustangs, was Jocelyn Radcliffe. Remember, Radcliffe left with that injury. It was getting the ankle iced on the far side. And we have not seen Radcliffe return since about the 30-minute mark of the first half, about 10 minutes into the match. And that's made a noticeable difference in this game. When Radcliffe left, it was 3-1 Laurel Highlands, and now we've had three straight goals on the Ringgold side. And the Mustangs would love her presence here in the final seven minutes, and I'm sure if she could go, she would be out there for Laurel Highlands. And again, this is the Mustang team already without a couple of players including one of their sophomore leaders in Kate Chido. Mentioned no, Addie knows as well another sophomore. Now the Mustangs with the rain coming down almost sideways right now, trying to find an equalizer down four to three. Hannah Newman on the backside for Laurel Highland, sending it out of play, and you can see that sideways rain right now with 6.30 left in regulation. Wind kicking up, rain coming down. Mustangs looking for a little energy here over the final 6.30 while Ringgold trying to weather the storm and hold on for a 4-3 win. Bridget Callahan on the near side battling Alinos. Been a fun one to watch. We had four goals scored in the opening 10 minutes of the match. Then went almost 40 minutes in between goals. Shot there from Esper was blocked down. She had one back in the first half. 5.51 to play and rolled in. Uh, Ruva Kaba. Mustangs need to get some of this ball back in the Ringgold zone. Most of this, at least the last 20 minutes or so, has been played on the Mustangs side of the field. Madison McLean a poke. You have to think head coach Denny Marzano is going to start th throwing a couple more players forward. Jenna Voigt just went down. Just slipped on the turf. She's all right. Played out there by Emily Delino, and the temperature cooling down as well. Another break here from Caitlin Ferentz. Ferentz back into the Laurel Highlands zone looking for an insurance goal. Good defense again from Hannah Newman. Can't say enough for that Mustang senior defender, Hannah Newman. Only a couple of seniors on this Mustang roster. You have Hannah Newman, Brooke Clymer, Bailey Edenfield, Emma Santor, Journey Greer, Nadia Kropchek, and Bella Wilson. That's your senior class for Laurel Highlands. Now Ryan Wilson will take a corner kick here for Ringgold with 4.42 left in regulation. We'll go low on this one. A little deflection out in front, and somehow that ball found Jaden Rule Vacaba. Looked like it was going to go towards the near post and somehow deflected back in Jaden's direction. Fortunate break there for the Mustangs as Jaden takes it out to the top of the box. But again, Laurel Highlands needs to find a way to get some form of pressure here in the Rams zone. Once again, Ringgold picks it up at the midfield. Laurel Highlands getting a little bit of the ball there from Madison McLean. We'll get angled back on the near side, but again, you get right to that midfield stripe and Ringgold able to pick up possession of the ball. Jenna Voigten trying to force a turnover there on Riley Simcoe, but Simcoe, a little turn, moves the ball forward. Nice job there from Callahan. Got it around McLean for the Mustangs. Regain there from Ellie Mancini, who again battles Aubrey Esper. Mustangs looking for a through ball there from Jenna Voigten too far. Aggressive play there from Delino, doing a nice job sending it out here again on the near side. And we're going to get a foul called here on Madison McLean who pushed down one of the Ringgold players. That was 32, Bridget Callahan. 
So a free kick coming up here for, no, it's going to go the other way. Foul call there on Ringgold. Mustangs will take that. Lexi Taylor will take it. It'll poke back down the field. But again, Laurel Highlands unable to sustain possession. It's been the difference here in the second half. Rams trying to break back. Played back by Lexi Taylor. Now Hannah Newman again. Good boot down the field. Trying to spring Voighton. Also had Alley nose off to her left. But the ball again rolls back to Emily Delino with 2.55 to play. Mustangs running out of time. Ball rolls out on the far side. You thought it would be close coming in. I was talking to my buddy Billy Dice before the game. He's a soccer aficionado around the area. And Billy told me he thought it was going to be a tight game tonight as well. 2.27 to play. Rams looking for an insurance goal. Down on the run, Caitlin Ferentz. Ferentz into the box, and she gets the insurance goal as the Rams take a 5-3 to lead with 2.17 to play. And that'll be your good night goal. Caitlin Ferentz. We'll send the Mustangs packing four unanswered for Ringgold in this match. It's now five to three. I think the injury is certainly a factor. You lose Radcliffe without Kate Chido, no Addie knows. Those are some heavy hitters. Look at Chido and Radcliffe, what they've contributed to this Laurel Highlands program. Even over the last two years, is huge losses here tonight. Now under two minutes left, Boynton trying to break back, and hopefully Laurel Highlands can get some of those girls back here soon. As Boynton goes sliding down there with Elizabeth Wilson. I'll recap the scoring again before we sign off here tonight. Jenna Boynton got the scoring started. 108 into the match. Elizabeth Wilson tied the match at one. And Jocelyn Radcliffe had back-to-back -back goals for Laurel Highlands. Again, all this scoring occurred within the first 10 minutes of the match. It was 3-1 Laurel Highlands and then four back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back goals for Ringgold. Esper and Buccineri scoring in the first half. And then within the last 10 and a half minutes of the second half, Ryan Wilson and Caitlin Ferentz putting us where we're at right now at 5-3. Ringgold over Laurel Highlands with 109 left here in regulation time. Rams looking for more. Still on the accelerator down on the near side here, Bridget Callahan. Hannah Newman's just going to send it out. And well played on both sides. The result certainly could have been different, I think, if you didn't have some of those injuries on the Laurel Highlands side. One last lob in here from Whaley. 32 seconds left. Abby gets it back again for a moment before Lexi Taylor clears it out. Goes back down to Riley Simcoe. That wet turf. No, it's wet out there now, and you can see the precipitation and the moisture coming off the ball on some of those slow rollers. Down to three, down to two, and that'll do it. Your final score, Ringgold five and Laurel Highlands three. Win improves Ringgold to four and four overall, four and two in conference play. Loss drops Laurel Highlands to four and three overall and three and three. In the conference, again, the Mustangs return to action at Connellsville on Saturday. Ringgold, they will return to action. Coming up very soon as well. And we'll sign off for tonight. Ringgold, a 5-3 win over Laurel Highlands. And we'll thank our sponsors before Signing off tonight as well, including the Sprouse Insurance Group and agent David Hughes, United Bank, Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law, 
Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwestern Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive. Jim Burns, Director, South Union Township Supervisors, Robert Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. And Chesler's Fine Furniture, Pittsburgh Road, Uniontown, in front of the Fayette Plaza, where customers send their friends. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry DuPay. Again, your final score, Ringgold five and Laurel Highlands three. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.